All right, here we are. Oh, here we are. Hello, person. Let me show you what we're working on today. So I've been working on this little scene here to make the game have a really beautiful pixel art scene. Something that kind of wows you. This is it I've got here. The scene where you are witnessing the dark scene. We need to turn off uh, double the audio. We can't have two music tracks playing. And uh, so yeah, this is just something that's right at the beginning of the game. The very second you start the game, you start here in this regen tank, you come across and you can walk straight up here and boom you see something like wow that looks nice pretty and um so far i've been really focused mostly in this video game on focusing on gameplay making sure the gameplay is just excellent awesome super rad so fun all the abilities are sweet all the enemies are awesome like that's been my priority uh so it's it's nice to take a minute and focus on the art for a second and really get this dialed in to the point where this looks really really good so there's something in here that is attractive to the kinds of people that need to have something beautiful in their video game. So this is for you people like that that want something really beautiful um, to go wow. And uh, there's a lot more things I can do too, really to improve the game's voxel engine. Um, like cleaning up the voxels around characters and shadows and tons of ideas there too, to just kind of like make things look good even in the dungeons. This is a, so what I'm using here is a, a combination of 2D and 3D techniques and uh, you can see there's a little bit of parallax going on in the background as I move left or right the background parallax is just a slight bit and if I move up or down um, the parallaxing also happens a bit and then when I stand right here the camera pans upward and the UI fades out so all that's happening um, and uh, yeah so the goal is to keep on working on this scene I mean there's a lot left to do this this pixel art's not finished at all um, just get it looking even better making it all blend better and um, I'm just gonna start working now so let's get to it it's gonna be mostly a Photoshop day cracking out the Crack it out of the good old pen. The graphics pen thing. Ready, already, already. So we've got this layer. It's a second tree, second tree reference. I'm gonna go ahead and crack that out. What happened? Oh, all of a sudden it stopped working. Try that again. Gonna work with me. Stay with me there, pen. Been working all day. I charged you up last night. Be good to go. Seems to be working now. Okay, good. Let's stick, let's hope that stays with us. All right, so I've got another, so I got two bonsai trees here. One's in the top right. There's no one down here. And I mean, I guess, I guess they're not really bonsai trees these are giant trees in this world but i'm modeling them kind of after bonsai trees so this is my reference image here and this is my image i want to draw another bonsai tree which is different than that one because this one right now i have here on the left is just a copy of that one just flipped over so it's just wrote it's just horizontally flipped so i'm gonna make this all unique all right i guess i'm gonna start all the way over then or maybe not maybe i'll maybe i'll take this this current image and keep it as sort of like a reference for color so whoops that's <laughs> not what i meant Oops! Uh, uh, uh. Let's go on. There we go. That's what I meant. All right, so we're gonna start with the deepest color. Actually, we can take a copy of this reference and use an, sort of an outline, trace an outline on this. I know you know where it's at. Uh, 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 uh. This tree has really interesting roots. That's kind of why I picked this reference image. Um, I'm gonna, once I get this thing drawn and put it on the main image there, the next goal will be to kind of like wrap its roots around the uh, the outside of that trunk there, or the, the outside of the mountain. So it looks as, has like a, a lot of exposed roots. I don't think that'll look really neat. This whole image, this this scene with the mountaintop and the rocks and the, the grass and everything has been a real challenge for me. Um, I have, my main skill has been programming for now almost 30 years and um, I started learning to make music about 20 years ago so I would say my next strength is music and then um, I started making artwork about 10 years ago so that is my newest skill uh, you, you could say so um, it's, I always have to kind of switch my brain over into art mode you know it's so easy for me to think like a programmer um, that's just my natural tendency to think in an engineering type fashion but to actually move my brain into more of a free-flowing artistic creative expressive um, not so edited type of thinking is a challenge for me it still is and it's especially a challenge for me to create art from nothing Thing. I'm definitely one of those artists that has to use a reference image. Um, I think it's amazing some artists can create images without reference images. I think it's like that's got to be the holy grail of all art making. But you know, a lot of professional artists use reference images for almost everything they create. 
Either that or they create a reference image out of, they create like a mock-up and then use that to paint with. So um, that was a kind of a big deal for me to, hello, Slight Chalkbow, Slight Chalkbow, cool, I like your name. Promotion, I know you know where it's at. Okay, um, what was I talking about? Yeah, I'm just talking about how art making is a natural thing to use reference images. Oh yeah, oh, I always thought it was cheating. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say here is like growing up as a programmer, I thought it was cheating to use a reference image. It's absolutely not cheating. That's how art works. A lot, that's how a lot of artists do it, basically. Okay, there we go. We got a, we got a tree outline. This is great. It's what I've always wanted. Tree outline. Maybe that probably good. What we'll do with this tree, let's make this tree a little bit more deep in its hues. We'll mix this color, yeah, not quite that much. Yeah, it seems like a nice base. Does it? I don't know. <laughs> Does it? Okay, well, we're gonna do it afterwards. Touch up these colors later. So, hello. Cool. I was paranoid that we didn't have audio for a second. <laughs> That's how you get when you've done a whole stream before without any audio. Okay, let's make this tree look awesome now. Oh, okay, so we got some nice shading over here. Let's fall. Oh, this root is so neato. It's not gonna be, be like that. We're gonna have some cool ass roots coming down. Sort of like wrapping, liking it. Liking it, liking it, liking it. Okay, let's add some nice of these little, look at this beautiful highlight color. Let's put some of that on there. So, how am I gonna do this highlight here? Oh, you know what? We're gonna have to save this highlight for last. We need to do next colors, these ones. So we're gonna do lighter colors here, here. Okay, yep, yep. This is what I'm talking about using a reference image. The thing it's hard for me to imagine being a natural programmer type person is light, shadow, form. <laughs> all all the basics of basically making artwork are, are from scratch. It, without using a reference image, it's hard for me to imagine things. I may, maybe maybe, maybe the, the masters of all artwork are the people that have spent so many years making art that it's just super natural for them to uh, to to make anything from scratch i don't know if you're an artist comment please tell me all right we're going for this next highlight color here and looking at where the roots are that have this sort of brighter sections and then we got this nice even brighter color here to use i chose all these colors last time making the other tree so i'm kind of using the same color palette as before to give it sort of a natural feeling like there's two trees of the same species but i think what i'm going to do because this green color is almost the same color as the ground right here probably going to have to kind of use some creative lighting on parts of this these leaves here just to differentiate it versus the background cool now we're ready for this highlight this is one of those things as a programmer i'm always like hesitant to do unrealistic things like this light right here i'm not seeing this little highlight on uh on this tree at all but i'm adding it because it's beautiful and that's something you see very often in all sorts of artwork whether it's concept art uh comic book art anime all sorts of things there's little techniques you can use to sort of like amp things up and make it more no no longer realistic but it becomes more beautiful for sure and those techniques are things that my programmer mind wants to hesitate and say no don't do that that's not realistic but then you do it and you're like wow it looks really good and i somehow don't notice that it's not realistic those are the curious things for me it's some almost like optical illusions but they're really just more tricks of the trade i guess for art artists like this highlight right here there's really no light source right here, but it's good. It looks nice. And I'm just going to overlook the fact that there is no light source. Can you join me in this delusion? All right, we're going to start highlighting the tree, adding in some of its detail. Part of the tree right here is a bit darker. We're going to leave this mostly, see that darker green color, but up here we're starting to have some highlights. It's funny, this, um, these leaves remind me of broccoli or or cauliflower if it were green. Sort of got that bulbous, soft, spore-like texture. Okay, here we are on the brighter highlight. I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm basically using the uh, magic wand selection tool to select the color that I want to draw on. And that allows me to um, go over the edges. Like, look at this, I can just like draw like this, draw all over the screen, but really I'm just drawing on that one part. So it's a really nice technique where you don't want to, you want to add some high, some of a certain color to a certain other color without affecting the other colors. <laughs> that was less than eloquent, but maybe you got my message. <laughs> did you get my, did you get my voicemail? I just sent you a voicemail. 
Did you check your voicemail yet? Did you get my message? Okay, okay, I gotta think while I'm instead of just drawing. Sometimes my brain does that. I, I try and create these weird sort of engineering based patterns rather than using my artistic mind to imagine how the shape of something is and how that shape would lend itself to highlights and where high, where light would actually um, be in that image. Like if I were thinking with just my programmer mind, I might say, oh, look, here's sort of a square shape. I should definitely highlight the top of it and the left of it. But then you think of it as more of an artist and you think, what is the actual shape of this? What does it feel like for that light to hit this surface? And then you think, oh, this is sort of a round surface. So it needs more of a curvy highlights. Uh, one little tip I've picked up over the over the years of making art. Uh, how to switch your brain from being a programmer to being an artist. Not that I know everything. Okay, let's say we took it. Let's say... Let, let, let's, uh, let's say... Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yep, yeah, yep, no, no, yep. Yeah. Okay, not bad, not bad. All right, let's um, turn off the reference and delete the old one. I like it. I like this tree. Definitely more unique stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so on to making it sort of have a little bit of a... Maybe I should use a gradient effect. Or maybe I should just make these two... Let's make these... Let's try making these lumps. Different color. Let me do this. Sort of use this lasso select tool uh, to create a hue saturation layer where I can play with play with the hue saturation of just this tree just these leaves and change them up a little bit like what if I they were kind of what I mean I'm talking about making it more blue in hue but not that light but let's there you go hmm this could work if I were instead of the this layer being like that let's try deleting the layer mask making this kind of selection doing layer reveal selection and then we're gonna edit this mask and do a gradient where what's our gradient foreground oh, this is the bucket now we want the gradient okay there we go that's what I wanted all right we want just our foreground to foreground to transparent and then foreground to black okay we got this and we're gonna go that maybe a little more actually that see what that looks like crazy okay I don't know if that's gonna make sense but let's find out I'm just aligning this layer with um, I've got this basically this tree on a separate layer because it is an element that needs to be on top of uh, other things. Okay, I keep doing the wrong thing here. Is it that I'm... There we go. Aha! There it is. Nice. Oh, uh, we also need this here. There we go. Cool. Okay, we got that layer. Let's build this. See what it looks like in the game. We got a brand new tree. It's looking, looking mighty nice. Papa's got a brand new chat. I mean, tree. Okay, I wish it were more full in the top left. And I wish it wasn't... I don't know if I like that blue gradient. It does help differentiate it versus the grass, but it needs it. So we're gonna try turning off the gradient and add a little bit more foliage. So once again, I'm trying to imagine where this, um, these lighter highlights would, these lighter colors in this highlight would would be. Well, this is a one. We've lost our reference image here. We've turned that off. So I've kind of got to imagine. All right, let's see how that looks. Hey, Boegas, what's up, man? No, you haven't mis missed much at all. I'm just working on this uh, this parallax scene here. You wake up aboard your ship, and there's this mountaintop where you can view the dark sea. This is the alien ship you're going to crash. So your whole goal is to crash this ship and save the universe from these evil worms that are trying to take off in that ship and fly around the galaxy and infect other planets. So yeah, this is try this is just trying to give you trying to give you a beautiful scene of eye candy and um, that's kind of one thing that I haven't added to this game yet is some eye candy. So that's that's um that's my current goal. Make something that's beautiful enough that catches people's attention and go people go, "Wow, that's neat. I want this game." Just because, because it has that. Okay, so this well, once again their tree has definitely what is it with our tree? It keeps changing color. Kind of weird. Huh. Then once you've trampled the grass, it definitely looks different. Oh, oh, I know what we could do. Instead of making it all one like a hue gradient, we could just do if we delete this or disable it either way. Yeah, let's try a totally different color differently colored tree. This is going to be wild. I have no idea what's going to happen here. Hmm. Hmm, kind of works. So there's a weird effect going on where it's the brightness of the tree is changing. I wonder what's happening there. It's really curious. I wonder if it's, um, is there something with this tree? Like, is it not 100% opaque? No, oh, it's 100% opaque. It's weird. Okay, I think it could use a little less blue. Just a little bit. That was, it was 42 before. Let's try 31. Okay, we'll, we'll keep it like that. Okay, let's get on with working on some other things here. Let's work on the grass some more. I've got the edges of the grass started, but I really want to get in and do some more of the details. 
those. So let's work on that now. Um, we need to turn off these gradient layers and we can turn off this tree on this layer. Actually, maybe not. Keep the tree for now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Select all these green colors. Let's draw some. Let's draw. Let's mount up. We are drawing now. Okay. So I need to zoom in a little bit. Perfect zoom level right there. Okay. We're going to add some highlights to all these these leaves, these leaves of grass. No, you know what? Change my mind. We need to do a little bit of fringe foliage first. We need to lay down some, lay down some fringe. Oh man, that is hard to draw in a straight line. Okay, let's use the mouse for this tool, this job. The mouse is kind of hard to keep straight too. Oops. I've got a bunch of grass entities in the game right here, so I don't need to cover the middle of this this whole expanse of grass. I just need to cover the edges. But adding in this little bit of this fringe foliage, I think will add a, a nice element to everything here leaves of grass this is kind of, this is a challenging thing actually to draw there's almost too much thought involved with like where should i place the next one how many right i'm still thinking with my my engineering brain still thinking with engineering brain that's the, the one that's the trick man that is the ultimate trick of making art for a programmer you got to turn off your programmer mind and it's cha it's a challenge to do i'm very challenged here <laughs> <laughs> oh. Eventually I'm gonna be, after I do some of, some of this fringe and stuff like that, well, whenever, I'm gonna be doing some nice shadows on the rock here, and I'd like to put in some more roots and vines, like maybe a nice little swinging vine type of entity. Maybe animate that. Making everything come to life. Little flower, I need to have some little flowers too, like swaying in the wind. That'll look nice. I've already got some little firefly type entities. Maybe some birds. Oh, of course. Yeah, I've already got plans for the birds. I wanna do a cool stork-like creature maybe like almost like a pelican more like a stork i guess um i want to do the black crow from songbringer bring that crow entity back what the hell just happened oh my god i swear i didn't press anything weird and it just went haywire with the zoom level right there oh i was saying before it's kind of a it's a real challenge too to also draw at this perspective um the easiest perspective to make pixel art for is the the side scroller perspective that is so nice such a lovely perspective but when you get into this three-quarter view um it gets a lot trickier you have to sort of sh shorten your vertical planes and or your your horizontal planes anyways it's it's not easy like try try drawing try drawing a stop sign in straight on right and you're like okay sweet yeah that's great i can draw a nice little octagon there no problem but then tilt your camera 45 degrees or 30 or 45 40 ish that many degrees and then all of a sudden it's like what try and draw a, a now try and draw an octagon. It's like, uh, hmm. <laughs> Let me think about that for a second. Which is all just, you know, excuses, I guess. I love, I love making excuses. What a, what a great thing. Let's make some more excuses here. Why, I'm, why this doesn't look awesome yet? So key to this, get faster. Stop editing and just more swiftly get this art. Faster, come on, Nat. Faster, yeah, faster. There we go. Faster. Stop thinking. Draw. Edit it later. Fast. Less. Better. Fast. Come on. Yes. This, there we go. Now we got the flow. Fast flow. Come on, baby. No thought. Who cares how it looks? Yep. Flow of the leaf. I'm a leaf on the wind. Oh, <laughs> that makes me think of Firefly. I'm a leaf on the wind. Okay, so we can get a bunch of... This is so... This is great. I'm drawing grass so much faster. I'm at like 3x speed right now, opposed to 0.5 speed on the other half there I was just drawing. Ew, okay, 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 okay. We need to go to this tree and add in some grass. Oh, it's bluegrass. What's this? What type of music? Okay, let's go over here and we're gonna create a brand new layer so we can have the original green color. I'm gonna call this one tree grass with lots of A's and S's and E's. That, that's, that's perfect. There we go. There we go. Look at this color. This is beautiful. This is the color I was wanting. Nice. I like it. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's drop. While we're here, I'm gonna finish this grass off with some highlights. This is gonna be step two for the other grass, but for this grass right here, I'm kind of like don't want to forget it, so I'm just doing the highlights now. Yeah, look at that. Highlighted grass, it's beautiful. It's everything I've ever wanted in grass. Okay, back to our green color and back to the swift mode. Swift, swiftly, Nat. Don't think, just draw. Yes, there we go. This is great. This grass is not even, you're not even gonna see this grass. It's covered up by a tree. Why am I even drawing this grass? Oh, in case I move the tree one day? Yes, that could happen. Good idea. Let's draw all this grass. Why not? We're enjoying it, right? Yes, there we go. Boom, this is great. Look at, uh, look at this, we're almost done. Okay, great, that's good enough. Um, with highlights, this is all gonna get even better. Watch this. Okay, so we're gonna go That's not gonna work for me. It's hard to see without those highlights like that. Okay, we're just gonna have to highlight without that. Some of these are sort 
sort of clover leaf like shapes and some of these are blades of grass so I'm gonna try and highlight each of them as they are shaped as if as if I knew what they were shaped like in three dimensions I'm of course just kind of guessing here using my intuition don't actually know this is great this is great I'm, I'm shifting my brain into artist mode slowly but surely first 45 minutes there I was like still a programmer 100% now I'm definitely in the art zone in fact I've been pixeling all morning I feel like I should be already in pixel art mode but but um yeah it's taking me a minute today to shift gears it's a gear shifter already Okay, that's great. Oh, I'm really liking this. What does it look like? Wow. Okay, so the right half, I was a lot more deliberate and slow. And you can see it almost looks kind of unnatural right here. I've got a, I've got a really even spaced gaps between all these. And over here, it's a lot more natural. I did a lot more random and I drew it a lot faster. And it looks much more like nature intended. But whatever, we're going to keep both of them. Just how they are. Just drawing random highlights here. And not so randomly. Intuitively, I guess is the word. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? That was whoa, that was way too much. Too much. I'm down there. Mouse device. My mouse device is willy nilly today. It's a willy nilly mouse. Whoa there, mousy. Can you imagine a per like a. Is there some hero that rides a mouse? Pet familiar mouse, giant mouse, or small hero? Hero that rides a mouse. I just want to see that. Let's call up Dolly and, s and tell him we want that. Yo, yo, Dolly. What you got? What's going on, Dolly? I need a picture of a mouse that's being ridden by a hero with the, the pole arm in his hand. Sir Lancelot. With, who rides a mouse. Sir, Sir Mouse a lot? Hmm. My programmer brain was like, hey, there's got to be a faster way to do this. Then I was searching through methods and, I, and my brain came up with, nope, <laughs> nope, this is the fastest way. I wonder, I wonder what this all would have been like if I had modeled it all in 3D. Probably would look better. I guess that's the, that's the faster way, probably. I mean, I've worked on this scene already for nearly three days. This is uh, taking a minute. I think it's going to be worth it, though. To have a really, really awesome pixel art scene. Hopefully this turns out to be awesome. I gotta make this. You know what? That's what always happens with art for me. It's an ir iterative thing. Starts off, it looks blah. After a while, it looks better. And then in the end, it's like, what? Hey, that actually looks like art. Looking here overall. Yeah, it's looking a lot better. Looking a lot more three dimensional. Having highlights on these blades of grass. Gotta have just the right zoom level. That's important. Right, cool. Let's do this other half of things here. Uh, hey, so if you're watching the stream um, right now or even in retrospect on YouTube or whatever, um, I'd love to get your feedback on this. How's this art looking? And how does my artistic process uh, look to you if you're an artist? I need help. I need I need feedback and general advice. Shout out any art advice, please. I'm a relatively new artist. Just faking it. Faking it. I'm curious how a professional artist would have approached all this. I imagine probably the way to go here would have been to create a bunch of little patches of grass and then sort of like paste them all over the place like make a few patches that look really good and then paste them all over the place maybe change their sizes and rotations as you're pasting them and then overall sort of like apply some different color swatches to certain sections depending on whether they're in highlight or shadow <laughs> I'm just, I'm just imagining how a pro would really do this. I guess I'm kind of a pro. I don't feel like a pro at art. I feel like a pro at programming, that's for sure. I can successfully say at this point in my life that I'm a professional programmer. A professional artist? I don't know. I don't know. Still working on that one. <clears throat> Okay, we're getting there. We're almost, we're almost around the bend. It's a real detailed process here. Okay, good enough, huh? It'd be nice if we had a little bit of a, a brighter highlight here for these bits. Let's go. Let's shift this up a bit. Uh, uh, about all I want to shift that hue a bit there. A little less saturation, a little more brightness. Yeah, like that. For these um these bigger bits. Okay, and uh, let's go and add in some shadow. All right, not bad, not bad. I like it. It's, uh, looking pretty good. Let's see how it looks there in the game, huh? Let's give this a little bit of little bit of building, and um, there we go. It's built up. Let's go build it again here. Build it twice. We've got to build it twice. Measure, measure once, build twice. Isn't that how it goes? Sweet, I like it. Yeah. Maybe maybe let's dial in that that. Uh, 
parallax a little bit. I'm not really liking how it almost parallaxes too much. Maybe it, maybe it actually is parallax too much. <laughs> Render system. Uh, all right, switching into programmer mind. Um, just a little, just for a second. Just a second. All right. Okay. Just, uh, just a second. Where's the parallax? Boop, 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 boop. Really is that is it that much? That's it. I think it's a, already a very small amount. It's like negative one to one. Mm. All right. When we go and engage this parallax entity up here. Yeah, it's a negative one on the Y, positive one for some reason. It's really just the XY. So if I go to, oh, where's my little file for that? There, Dark Seed Overlook. And we got these XY um, parallax numbers. And these ones are set to negative one, negative two for the tower in the back. Let's change these to zero. Let's see what that looks like. I think, I hope that feels a little bit better with no X parallax, only Y parallax. The thing I'm wondering now is like, what's the thing that's really gonna make this over the top awesome? Is this not, is this awesome enough? Enough yet, or do we need more awesome? Yeah, that's better. No more the no more X X parallax, the Y parallax. I guess I could detail up the um, the mid-range elements a little bit. That'd be good. You know what? Things are actually looking pretty good. This is not bad. I could, you know what? It really needs right here is this. It needs a smoother transition right there. Maybe it. Maybe these stairs shouldn't be so dark at the bottom. Let's see what we can do about that real quick. Real quick, I promise. I promise is so quick that you won't even notice it. Uh. Huh. Okay, let's save this. Pretty good. I like that. It's your shadow bit right here. Go ahead and delete all of that. Whoops, delete all that. No one. Okay, I see what we got here. Yeah, all right. We want to, we're working on this one. We want to get rid of the top of this selection. Get rid of that there. Yeah, one more pixel. That's, that's the ticket right there. Yeah. Weird that it's jaggy right there. I don't understand, but okay, you will paint all white. Oh, what's that? Oh, I want that. And then Gaussian blur it to the right amount. Should be about eight, I think. Four right now. Maybe it is four. Yeah, four. Okay, let's keep it at four. Okay, there. Now we've got the stairs aren't being sort of like shadowed as much. There's a shadow from the bridge. And there's an overall sort of gradient. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try this gradient again. If I were to do this, what is this layer? Is this normal? Yeah, it's a normal 100% layer. Okay, if I were to draw this manually with the gradient tool, I would do this a little bit differently. I would we got we got dark to just dark all the way dark actually i kind of like that purple color slightly purple yeah okay and what oh other way around there we go okay and now pull down shift and go blow see how different that is versus that that's kind of darkening everything maybe this will look a little bit better with the original bright colors more see how that looks Oh, see that does look better as far as as far as the bridge goes, and everything's a little bit more lit up. I like it. But we still have a nice gradient going downwards. Okay, I'm sold. Sold to the highest bidder. What could I do to make this bridge look better at the end? Right here, this little spot right here, as this transitions from this bridge, which is a three-dimensional voxel entity into this two-dimensional background entity. I mean, adding shadows would help. No, it needs like, it needs a, oh. But what if I had an entity at the end? Or like railings, what if I just had railings? Could work, okay. Huh, so could even just create railings. Oh, let's do a quick test. Let's make it so, uh, close that, close that, close that. Here it is, okay, this thing. And then we want the, also the map. There it is, <laughs> map ship. All right, we want some railings that face in a word. This was, wait, this faces left. Okay, so we want some X2s over here. Wait, am I sure about that? X5, X2? Yeah, 5x plus number x2. So we want 1, 1, x2. I think these are gonna be x6s on the other side. x6 faces the other direction. Yeah, okay, so these are all gonna be 1x6. 1 is the height, x is the entity, 6 represents the direction of the railing. Let's see what that looks like. I want this bridge to look better, to look more something, something, something. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that was it. I totally did it. Makes this whole thing look better. Taking one pixel down. One one, vo one more voxel downward. Okay, now we just need to figure out how to make the bridge so it can create these railing entities automatically. Either that or we just have the bridge always extended. Okay, I'll work on that later. Let's get these things finished with the, the pixel art and the voxels and everything. It would be nice to have some more shadow and vines and things like that hanging down. Maybe some lichen on the sides of the walls and work on the background a bit too, some more. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. All right, let's work on this middle 
bit of layer right here. This one. Yep, I got a sample. Only the current layer. There. That's the ticket. Yeah, just what I want. That's just kind of thing is the thing that everybody needs these days. Here we go, here we go. Doing a thing, doing a thing. Oh, uh, doing a thing, doing a thing. Hmm, we got this sort of thing which changes the color of everything here, and it's got a bit of a gradient on it. Color burn 22. Well, so we could do about this. Can duplicate it over to this side. Now you're supposed to stay in the same layer, yo. Here, stay there. Why did you duplicate to another layer? I don't like it. All these need to be 100% normal. Can I select them all and do that? 100% normal. Great. Merge them all together. Bada bing, bada boom. Turn it back to color burn. 22%. That's better. We got some detail going on here. This looks nice. Whoops, again, trying to draw on the wrong layer there. Whoops, draw on the right layer there. Better. Okay, I drew that tree and I don't like it anymore. I think I like either of these trees. Get rid of these trees. There we go. We'll turn back on this uh, layer mask. Get a nice gradient going there with that. Okay. Let's see how this is looking here with this other layer. Of course, the focal point is the dark seed alien ship thing. Ah, there, there's the layer I'm looking... Whoops. Don't want to delete that. Just disable it for a second. There we go. Okay. Same thing with this. Oh, man. We want to just duplicate this other gradient. Wait a second. What happened to the... What the heck? This guy. Oh, look. He's like that. Suddenly changes for this layer. What? Whoa. What's nuts. What's going on there? Oh, we're not even using that. I don't even need to worry about that because we're not using it. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> the wrong one. Why? Why is that like that? Oh, well. Try duplicating this. There. Wait, wait, wait. Nope. There. Yeah. Turn that off. Why is everything red now? I can some weird mask mode. Everything's red. Oh, well, okay, whatever. It'd be red if you want, I guess. Don't be messing with me. <laughs> That's what be. I gotta close it. Man, I am hungry. I gotta stop the stream soon. Get some food in my mouth. Get some yum yum in my tum tum. Oh, what? It's still that color? Oh, it's these. Uh, what happened here? Ooh, I hope I didn't break something by doing all that. Okay, that looks right how it should, I think. That looks good. Still looking good. That does not look good. Oh, I think I see what happened. Okay, these are supposed to be enabled like that. There we go. That's the ticket. Okay, as far as you go, disable layer mask. Good, good. And then, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Are these both color burn 22s? Oh, yeah. There, good. Got that color burn looking good now. Let's see what we can do to make these just look a little more natural. It's good enough. Well, maybe maybe a little bit of touching up on um, maybe that too many pixels that look like that. Uh, okay, it's good. And uh, re-enable. Yeah, right, let's make sure I didn't totally mess everything up like this. Well, find out. Find out soon enough. Okay, it's still looking good. And let's add a little bit more shadow, maybe some vines, top, and we'll call it good. All right, if I were to take this color here, this green color, I could draw a vine, but I would want to kind of mix it with, see what this looks like if I mix this completely with, halfway with that. Whoops, all right, that's, that's then. I like it, okay. Ugh. I could draw this with a um, graphics tablet. That would be nice, but I'm not gonna right now. <laughs> Too lazy to turn that thing on. I draw sort of like another smaller vine snaking around this thing. Man, give it some highlights. What about some highlights, man? Really bright highlights. Right, the highlights aren't working. I don't like the color. Okay, I don't know what this is gonna look like. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. Woo, I'm starving. Time to go. Time to eat. Time to eat. Hmm. What's that vine could do? I guess the problem is that the, the shadow is too clean. Something wrong with this. Let's see, I gotta make this look better. Get that, that transition from where the grass goes to a little bit of a sh dark shadow and then the, immediately the rock face. Something's wrong with that. It just, just doesn't quite look right to me. It almost looked better before when there was a smaller shadow, but there also needs to be sort of a transition shadow onto the rock face itself. I would like it if the vine were swaying in the wind. That would be cool too. And maybe the maybe these trees could drop some leaves. That's so weird. When I stand near this tree, this thing flickers first. Now it's okay. When I stand near that tree, it doesn't flicker. It's weird. Anyways, more to be done, but this is kind of how it's looking so far. I like it. I really like it a lot, personally. I would love to get some feedback if anybody has some thoughts on this. Like, show, tell me what you think of this comment on the youtube comments or send me an email or something tell me how you uh, how's this looking i need i need something that's really wow as players like when you start this game and you go wow whoa, whoa, this has good art i am going to enjoy this video game and then the gameplay is so sick you're like oh, i'm gonna keep playing this for sure kind of the goal for this um sort of, a, sort of a hook i guess fishing hook so how does this look player person tell me in the comments please um that's, that's all I got for today. Well, I gotta take a break, get some food in my face. So, I appreciate you watching this, and um, I'll be back next Wednesday with another live stream. And that's all for now. Hope you're having a good time. Hope you're having a good time with the Steam Next Fest and all that. All right? Later.